Hi, I'm Bethany Cole, a current master student at the University of Lincoln. I'm currently researching in evolution and ecology. I'm focusing on three groups of ring seals which are isolated and currently deemed as critically endangered. We're outside here at my uh, main building, my labs, and but right now I'm going to show you a bit of background about my project and why it matters. A Scandinavian ice sheet melted around 11,500 years ago, creating the Baltic Sea. Ringed seals colonised the Baltic soon afterwards. Around 10,000 years ago, isostatic land uplift occurred, creating Lake Ladoga in European Russia and Saima in Finland. This trapped and isolated ring seals here. The Baltic Sea has undergone changes throughout time, including temporary isolation when a land bridge formed, closing the only connection between the Atlantic. This has now reopened, however it's still very small, so the seals are semi-isolated. Since inhabiting the Baltic Sea and lakes, this arctic species, which depends on ice for breeding and hauling out, has had to adapt to its new environment here, which is the southernmost location of all ring seals in the world. These species have now been isolated for so long that they have evolved into their own separate subspecies, the Ladoga, Saima and Baltic ring seals. However, there is still some deliberation over whether the Baltic ring seals are deemed as their own subspecies. Changes in the lake species are more prominent, such as the loss of the white natal coat because there is both a lack of ice to blend into and a lack of predators to hide from. Their less extensive diet is purely fish, this has also meant that their intestinal tract is now 11 times shorter than ring seals living in the seas. The isolation of these populations means the seals can only breed with each other and therefore there is a serious inbreeding depression occurring. To make matters worse, the lakes are split up into a labyrinthine layout, so colonies find it difficult to reach each other. Inbreeding can lead to a lack of genetic diversity, which will limit these populations in being able to adapt to future changes. This combined with global warming, which is reducing the ice available for the seals to breed on, oil spills and general human disturbance, which includes tourism across the lakes and excess hunting leading to bottlenecks, has all led to the endangerment of these populations, with the Lake Saima seals being deemed as critically endangered. A severe bottleneck occurred in the Baltic between the late 70s and early 80s that reduced the population significantly. Bottlenecks have also occurred in the lakes in the 20th century. Mitochondrial DNA was extracted from the tissue samples from the seals. This is mitochondrial control region DNA from the seals. From here I assessed any relations between individuals. I then created haplotypes and assessed how diverse the groups were. The results are bad news for the colonies. All three had a very low nucleotide diversity, as low as 0.016 in late Saima. Haplotide diversity and mean pairwise difference results also followed a similar pattern. In the Baltic, ancient nucleotide diversity was moderate, however this increased in modern samples from the 19th century, suggesting immigration into the sea. However, this was followed by a sharp decline in diversity between 1991 and 2001, which is roughly one generation after the huge bottleneck in the Baltic population, which occurred from excess hunting. This reflects a loss of individuals and therefore diversity. Okay, so overall my results reflect the long-term isolation of the seals, the extensive inbreeding, and it reinforces their status as critically endangered. Their low genetic diversity implies they've got a low fitness and are going to find it hard to adapt to further change. So these are my results so far of my thesis, but if you'd like to know more, or if you want uh, to get in touch, please do. So I'd like to thank my colleagues and also you for listening. Thank you.